I tried to go on there and do what I and prove to everyone what I can do. I think it was the day before we was walking and we was chatting and he said, you'll be on the bench tomorrow and I'm going to try and bring you on. It's just, just got to wait, wait and see what happens with the game. And to improve my game a lot more, hopefully get a few games with the first team. Today I'm joined by Bristol City striker Lewis Britton. Um, I'm joined by Lewis uh, six months ago uh, during his loan spell uh, at Torquay. So firstly, Lewis, um, to start it off, how was your loan spells at both Torquay and, and Stockport County? Yeah, I really enjoyed it at Torquay. It was, it was only a month, unfortunately. So, um, I, yeah, I enjoyed it there. It was, a, it was a good experience for me to go and experience that league. So I uh, went there, scored, so that was always a good thing. But then I come back to City and then I played a game or two with the under-23s. And then I went to Stockport for about two or three months. I think I only played about four games there, so that was a bit disappointing. Didn't really go as planned, but it was a good experience for me. It was a good learning curve and it's made me push on, really. And then I went back with the under-23s ever since January till the end of the season now, really. Yeah, definitely. So you mentioned there, obviously, the under-23s. You've been playing at Western this season. It's been an amazing season for you. So talk, talk us through uh, your season, obviously, scoring the 15-plus goals for the under-23s this season. Yeah, it's been it's been good. It's amazing to win the league as well. And it's just even better to score the goals I've scored. And just we finished with 16 in the end. So that's always good. Yeah, definitely. And then, obviously, after your basically... Um, this season, the whole season at the under twenty threes. Obviously, you you start a lot of the the younger lads have been mixing around with the first team this season. So when when did you first really start um, learning with the first team and training with them? Um, I think it was only I started went up there when I in around April time, and then I was in the around in and around the squad ever since around April time to the end of the season. Yeah, so it's quite late really. But. But yeah, what it was good. What has been the what is the difference really from obviously training with the first team daily to obviously when you're playing at Mangotsfield Field in Torquay? Yeah, obviously the intensity and the quality is a lot better than but it's just a great experience to go out there and to train with all these pros and yeah, yeah, hundred percent, definitely. And then, obviously, um, you got that call up for for the Millwall game back in the first of May. When did you first um, realise that you you could be getting that that uh, call up on the bench? I think it was the week before I travelled to Sheffield Wednesday, and Portugal was on the bench, and I was in the squad. And then the Luton game, I was in the squad as well. And then um, I travelled to Mill. And then I found out on the day that I was on the bench and just unbelievable, really. But just unfortunate result and disappointing I didn't come on. But the week after I come on. Yeah, definitely. That that the We're going to talk about the Brentford game now. You obviously had that whole week, really, from obviously the Millwall game to the Brentford game. Did you ever speak to Nigel during that week? And he did he ever tell you that um, you could be getting your, your first debut for Bristol City in the first team? Yeah, I think it was the day before we was walking and we was chatting and he said, you'll be on the bench tomorrow and I'm going to try and bring you on. It's just, just got to wait, wait and see what happens with the game and luckily enough, I come on. Yeah, definitely. So what what was that feeling then, obviously, during the match? Um, you obviously came in uh, onto the field of play in the 72nd minute, I believe it was. So what was it like, obviously, warming up and then, then getting the nod ahead to, to get ready to go on the field? Just... Just got to take it as, as it comes, really. You just I had to, I tried to go on there and do what I and prove to everyone what I can do. And lucky enough, I've done that. I've come on and scored. And just so, but it was obviously a disappointing result. Yeah, what was it like, obviously, um, that, that free kick from, obviously, um, Sam Bell, I believe it was, and then he obviously put it into the box and you scored your, your first goal less than 15 minutes into your, your professional debut. How, how was that? Yeah, it was actually Alex Scott who put the ball in. Oh, Alex Scott. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just, I didn't really get the best of connections with it, but I'll take it. It goes in and I get my first championship goal. And just obviously being 3-0 down and getting it back to 3-1 is not 
could have been better, but just trying to get something out of the game, and unfortunately, we didn't. Yeah, and do you reckon that that's first goal of many for Bristol City? Yeah, I'm sure it will be, yeah. Definitely, and I hope it will be then. Um, so, obviously, you've played um, about 20-odd minutes in, in Bristol City as well as, obviously, the under-23s. What is the, the full-on difference? Obviously, we talked about training earlier, but what is the difference in the, the, like, the intensity and of, of the match against a team like Brentford, who will be pushing for Premier League, to a team like um, Stockport or Torquay that you were playing for literally less than a year ago? Yeah, for me, it's the, it's the physical side and like the high intensity. That's the standout thing for me, really. And like the physicality of the players. They're, all, they're obviously Premier League players. They, they could be in the Premier League next season. So it's a lot different to play in under 23 football. Yeah, definitely. And obviously, uh, for you this summer, will you, will you be in and around the training ground working with the squad ahead of uh, next season, hoping to obviously get a few more starts? Yeah, hopefully I will be. Yeah, hopefully in pre season, I'll be with the first team. So. Hopefully I can work on that and hopefully get many more chances next season. Definitely. And then finally, what would what are your, your targets and aims ahead of next season, which obviously going to be a tough season for, for Bristol City. Um, but hopefully you'll obviously get a few more chances as well as some of the younger players. But what, what's your aim heading into next season? Just to improve my game a lot more, hopefully get a few games with the first team. Or even if I get a chance to go on loans, just got to see what happens in pre-season and hopefully score many more goals and keep working hard. And obviously, as a team, push up the table. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, so, yeah, thank you for talking to me today, Lewis. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. No worries. It's my pleasure. And thank you for watching uh, obviously today's interview uh, with Lewis Britton. And uh, I'll catch all the guys on the next one.